Hey everyone, let's play Nightingale. First things first, we need to build some sort of base. And I highly recommend close to the water if you do farming. And the reason also close to the water because uh, you may find uh, ores and, and lots of rocks as well. If you want to build out of stone. Let's see if there is any good location to find. Oh, great. So press E and you get all the materials. There should be enemies here, I think. Yes. First, this guy. Good. And when you gather these, you get... Oh, oh stupid boar. Stop interrupting me. If you complete these shrines, also you get the uh, blueprints. And some shrines give you favor. Uh, since I already have an umbrella, I don't need the second one. So there was this shrine. Uh, there's another shrine here. I think it's, this is a puzzle one. Just to find the right order. So this is the last one. Get this one. You can hit it or press it. It's up to you. The reason is hitting is a good idea. Because later on there, these uh, puzzle pieces will be like up in the sky. And you need to shoot them down. Okay. Again, favor. Also, if you fail these puzzles, you the enemy's gonna attack you. But in sort of way, you can ha use that as a infinite farm. I think I might build it there. I will build some sort of bridge here, maybe. Across there. Would be nice to have a bridge. Oh, this is a paradise for stones. Oh, so it's better to keep this one here than I guess. I guess then I'm gonna build it there so that I can keep this for stone farming. I don't know how long it takes to respawn. I guess I, this could be a good location then. Uh, estate. It doesn't matter where I build it, you can always move it later on. Though I need some shelter. Temporary shelter. Hmm? And more sticks. Always gather these with the tools because uh, it helps you gather more than by hand. Okay, build it up. Thank you. I need to build this up in order to get the uh, blueprints. Okay, now I unlocked all the necessary benches and such to craft the better tools. Your tenacity overrules the gusts of fate, and this fay you have pleased. Settled here, you'll soon wish to venture farther, the unending lure humankind so often succumbs to. Should you hear that siren call, you'll require unbraided cards and the power to play them. Fortunately, both are close at hand. And here is the knowledge that Robin's friendship affords. Across this realm lie sights of power sealed by your kin long ago, forsworn by Fay, even longer still. There are many sights each granting access to ever more distant spheres. Nearest, though, the Antiquarium. 
formidable enough for one so green. You must first gain entry. Passing through a seal forged by those last children of Earth, who claimed reverence for our infinite wisdom. They, more than most, knew the gravity of a contract. Their gates bar access to those unworthy, but I see that strange, hopeful spark within you. Nurture it with its own fundament, humanity. Be it comfort, companionship, coffer, I know not. Once within, delve ever deeper toward the pedestal. Upon it lies the means to craft the card you require. Hurry now, fleshling, and prepare. The infinite awaits. Thank you, Buck. So I need to reach the gear squad 20, and I think I need to go in this side of power and take her in side power to unlock the new car to travel to more higher realms. This realm is better to like for building your estate. Technically, you can go to the higher one and stay there. Hmm. But this realm, you still gonna need it for later on as well. The reason I want to build it here, because you can access the portal and the uh, radar. So you can go across. That's why I'm gonna build a sort of like bridge there and here. So my base will be here mostly. Okay, I need the rest. I do need a crafting bench. Wait. Technically, I would need a solid ground. Get the storage first for my heavy stuff. So some sort of like basic foundation around. Let's make out of stone, I guess. Yeah, sounds good. And you can either remove and always move this. You can always put this anywhere. You can move anything wherever you want. That's the good thing about this game. That your stuff, what you place, is not uh, fixed. We're gonna gather some stone, build up some basic foundation, a base. Ah, one stop. How far you've come, and yet how little you possess. Is it an ascetic purity that keeps thee bound to such homely presentation? No. It seems more apt that thou merely remain blind to all that could be thine. Across these wilds, your kind have proliferated with haste. Industrious, and more than willing to avail amidst your ever-growing need. Indulge their hunger for essence, and they will indulge your want for new and novel constructions. Yeah, it's... the timing for the puck is weird, because the trader is somewhere there. Let's continue our base. Wait. <laughs> Run the deer randomly got hit. They really need to improve the animation for the tree fall thing. Alright, I just I keep forgetting that you just pressing E pull down E you can gather all the materials in one go quite distance to gather the items okay here I am I done with my makeshift home this would be my temporary base until I get more stuff to unlock but I also need to build up some sort of like bridge across here we'll see which way will be 
Maybe I have to expand this way. We'll see. Another bridge I wanted there. Just for funsies. So let's build up our basic materials. Fire. What are traits? Okay. Some bad roll, positive, negative impacts, exposed location, yeah, grid, exposed, yeah. Uh, augmentation, is augmentation of build structures and tank. Okay, create new trades, guidebook. Yep. So this way I can make my simple tools. So currently I have the makeshift stuff and i sh think i should focus on these but i kind of want to cheese the game a little bit so let's go to our trader and the wilhelm sasse oh there's a chest inside this hole i did not expect that I'm not gonna remove it yet. Uh, I need to test out the other zone where I remove two chests if they respawn or not. It would be a good experiment. Where are they? Put a mark in here so I know this is important place for me. Franklin. So usually this is always a different kind of person here. So this one I'm gonna mainly skip because they don't really talk. I'm a refugee, yeah, open book. And I think in paper, yeah. Yes, he mentioned protection, I did. Choir, okay. Finding survivors, yeah. They, the survivors are useful to have. Any rumors? Mm, first antiquarian. In my journeys. Snare a bell, pale, okay. Monstrous doctor. Ah, it tells you the location of certain people. This will be very important later on. So, so one of the person is in the forest antiquarian realm. That will be very important. Then Neely Bill will be in Pale, I no, somewhere else. And the desert also with the Victor Frankenstein. Okay, never mind. For all. So, first I need to build this up in order to gain this companion. I hear a flickering sound. It drives me nuts. Now you get all of them just on press. It's here! That's so weird. I might have enough materials for building up two, three, and uh, this one. You get your reborn. And now I can re get this guy, frankly. Technically, I could steal his clothes. It's much higher level. I'm not gonna look like Mary Poppins, but... And a backpack. So there is a trick to get infinite amount of uh, essence. It's sort of exploit. I don't know if he got banned for this or so. It might be fixed. Let me show you that you buy 10 and you get 
four bottles. So basically, you four, you get four times amount. So you can just buy these many as you want until they're gonna fix it. I'm gonna use this because this way I can buy certain resources like tier one resources, like crafting, gathering, etc., etc. So this is only enough for me. Just start off because I already played through this without the cheese. Um, I can travel back to my respite. You see, I don't have to walk back. So I need to make all these necessary items. Finally. Yeah, the tree animation <laughs> really needs to be improved. Careful, Franklin! My hammer will be that's for, for fighting the mechanical. And I prefer using axe over the hammer. Because, for example, the hammer doesn't hurt these as much. Okay? Yeah, you need flashing against these guys. So they are like, uh, this is piercing, I think. Yes, the dagger piercing. This missile. Also, different kind of damage. Okay, I managed to get level twenty, but I still gonna make the rest of the clothes. An enchanting table is also done. You can make uh, infusion and charms and cards. And enhancements as well. As well. <clears throat> it helps you to boost your, uh, boost your uh, items level and the abilities and such. I really want the settler card. That's the one of the best card you can craft. But maybe there are other cards as well, like the industrial card, also good for like smelting and stuff. Okay, most of the crafting benches are done. So my base is set up. So now I can go to the antiquarian site, this place, and finish the quest. And we're gonna use the hammer. We need that against boss. Because you need the blunt damage against mechanical piercing. Works against most of the creatures, except the mechanical ones. Is this a bathtub? Yes. Even a sink. <laughs> so here we are. We can enter this portal. I mean, not part of the entrance. Echo for steps. Enter. One, you can read it. Subtly. What damaged me? Yeah, hammer does hurt against these guys, I think. I guess I could use this. Always good to collect the chest because you never know what items you get. Potions. Just follow the path. You don't have to jump down because then all the mobs are gonna spawn. And you don't want to get overwhelmed. Mm. 
I should have slept before going here. Can I sleep still? Maybe at the bottom. Ah, the hammer. The reason hammer is good because it has an AoE. Why is suddenly so dark? guys I never been this area before it's a bit dark uh the torch is not half lit off go even deeper Sorry for the lags. Did they change this? Yeah, they changed a little bit. So each one is different. Okay, let's do this. Let's equip some potions. easy I played a very hard difficulty and that's a nightmare to beat I good I didn't need potion and now I get the antiquarian card Hold on. I want to talk Your deed befits the title, and the wider realms are within your reach. I'm oh, sorry. Ah, but you feel I've foxed you, betraying no foresight of the dangers held within these walls. Listen, for I come with broom before to sweep this dust behind the door. Though I did smirk, watching from the shadows, I was heartened to a spy that my gifts are not wasted on thee. Our partnership blooms with the seal of a most fruitful requital. Assurances in hand, press onward. Mark inky images upon paper, and so direct the flow of the interrealmic void. Might I suggest, for your first foray, a forest augmented by your new 
antiquarian knowledge. There are others like you, lost refugees, strangers to these fey wilds. So too are there more seasoned realm walkers who might point you toward Nightingale better than I. Go then with newly fashioned cards. Awaken yonder portal and tread on toward that which is boundless beyond the measurable. Thank you. Now I can travel. There is an easy way to leave this place. Just teleport outside. That way you don't have to climb all the way up. So in the enhanced enchanter's state focus, you can make your antiquarian car. For that you need inks and papers. And essence dust, of course. To make the paper, you make it from this lumber saw. Luckily, you make 12 papers, so you only need to make one. And from ink, you make it from mortar thing. Yes. So you can make out of it anything, even meat as well. I think the meat is the easiest to get, so use that one. Because you need to make first the pigment, then the alchemist ink. Let's make these first. One, it's almost done. And then alchemist ink. You need glass. And you make 36, so one is enough. Okay, and then we can craft our antiquarian card like that. It increases the level of the zone by 10. I mean, it will be realm power 20. So plus your difficulty, that's equals 30 then. I'll make one of these and a forest card. Uh, you can rename your respite as well. Magic land. Yeah, it's fine. And then we need to make a forest. And onward to the portal. I think this is the best time to stop. And the next episode, I most likely gonna focus on doing i mean continue with my quest if i remember correctly i'm gonna i will unlock and uh, not enhancing but upgrading station with that you can upgrade your gear to have higher uh, item level i'm gonna mark the portal i could have built my base here but in my opinion, like enter here would be much better because you can you need to access Rupheim for later and for the quest. And also the close by the water. Technically you could have I could have placed it here as well. I could fish here as well if necessary. But it should be fine. Uh, I forgot to rest. Oh no. Are you serious, Franklin? Thank you. I can rest. Yeah, this is the best time to stop. Thank you for watching and see you on next episode. Bye-bye.